In more legal-related matters, the police are again facing criticism for their approach in carrying out investigations. The attorney representing a Clarendon woman now before the courts to answer charges of negligence after her children died in a fire says it will be some time before the matter progresses. He's leveling blame at the police for the delays. Raquel Porter has our story. Micey Walters, whose two children died in a fire in Hayesfield, Racecourse, Clarendon, had her bail extended Friday when she appeared before the Clarendon Parish Court. Facing a charge of negligence, she was instructed to return to court in September after the prosecutors reported that the case file was still incomplete. Her lawyer is Nicoy Ferguson. There is now a fire report among some other documents. But the Crown's file is still not quite ready yet. Um, and so we'll be back on the 2nd of September. And it could be some time before this matter could come to a close. The security forces, they're quick to make an arrest, sometimes even before they have gathered all the material that they need. He says it's a general observation which adds to the long delays in the courts. One of the things that would help to make matters of this nature move more quickly through the system is if the work is done before the matter comes to court, which is how it really ought to be, you know. Uh, it, it really is a, is a bad culture that we, we have developed in this country. But needless to say, that's a general point as it relates specifically to my matter. Uh, there will not be a resolution in the short term because for us to progress there are certain things that need to be done. and. At the state in which the Crown, I'm sorry, where the Crown's file is now, we're not ready to make any significant progress with the matter. The fire on March 24 claimed the lives of three-year-old Abigail Tomlinson and four-year-old Kayla Tomlinson, who were reportedly left at home by their mother. The children were buried on Sunday. Raquel Porter, TVJ News.